This video is going to be for people that stream console games but maybe can't afford an $150 capture card. Or maybe you need a quick method of streaming and recording your gameplay into your OBS window. I have personally used this capture method in the past and I have just recently started using it again to stream PS4 games on my Twitch channel. My name is Chase the Face and welcome back to another stream guide video. So real quick before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that I stream on Twitch 4 days a week, Monday through Friday, except for Wednesday. The link will be in the description, why not leave me a follow? Now that that's out the way, let's get started. So how do we record our PS4 gameplay into our OBS window without a capture card? We're going to use a little piece of software called PS4 Remote Play, which you can download from the link in the description below. This is the PlayStation 4 Remote Play software. It's pretty simple, straight into the point. What you're going to want to do with the software is connect your PS4 to the software. There are two different ways you can do this. You can either link your PlayStation Network account to the software directly, or you can directly link your PS4 with a code that you can get from the PS4 Remote Play settings on your PS4. Now that your PS4 is connected, you're going to want to make sure that you change the PS4 Remote Play settings depending on whether or not you have a PS4 or a PS4 Pro. What you're going to want to do is you want to go into your settings tab and you're going to want to change the resolution. Your resolution is just how good your image is going to look for your stream. So by default, your resolution is going to be set to standard 540p. If you have a PS4 Slim, you're going to want to change it to high 720p. And if you have a PS4 Pro, you can go as high as best 1080p. In my instance, I have a PS4 Slim, so I'd be under high 720p. So next, you're going to want to change your frame rate. And this is just going to be how smooth your image looks. So you're always going to want to set this to high. Now your PS4 Remote Play is completely set up, so now we can set it up in OBS. Now that your OBS window is open, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your PS4 Remote Play and add it as a window capture. So you're going to go ahead and right click in your sources, add window capture, name it whatever you want. In my instance, I'm going to do PS4. Okay, and then in the window drop down, you're going to want to click the drop down and then click PS4 Remote Play. And there you have it. Your PS4 is in OBS. Whenever you are, whenever you are in OBS, you're going to want to go ahead and actually full screen this so that your game is completely full screen. So there you have it. Your PS4 is now in your OBS window for free with no capture card. I do, however, want to go over some of the pros and cons of using this method. On to the pros. It's a free capture card, which is great. There's very low latency. And now on to the cons. So whenever you do connect with the remote play, it disconnects your controller from your console. So in order to use your controller, you have to plug it into your PC via USB. And there's a little bit of latency between your controller input de input delay, I should say. But however, there is a workaround to this. It does require a few extra steps, but I think it's really worth it in the long run. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna have two PSN accounts connected to your PS4. One to play games and one to connect to the PS4 remote play software. So it kinda sounds like a uh, dual PC setup to me. You connect your PS4 Remote Play account to the PS4 Remote Play software. Whenever you're logged into the PS4 Remote Play, you hit the PS button on your controller, and then you log into your game account. And now you can use your controller completely wirelessly. And there you have it, a free alternative to a capture card. I truly hope this video has helped you in any way, and if it has, why not subscribe to be notified whenever I upload a video. That being said, I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, I will see you guys in the next one.